Hello, this is Arturo Le Film Room Reviews. I'm Arturo, and today I'll be reviewing... Ah! Enemy at the Gate is a World War II film set during the Battle of Stalingrad. We follow the Russian side of this conflict. However, is Enemy at the Gate the film a good film or okay? We had a lot of World War II films come and go, and there are some better than others. Where does this rank? Well, that's why you're here. Today I'll be reviewing Enemy at the Gate. Let's go. The story is set during, obviously, Battle of Stalingrad. The Germans are at the gate. We follow three lead characters throughout the story. Now, I'm going to say, I may pronounce their names wrong because they're foreign, but Commissar Danvol, Danilov, Tanya, Chernova, and of course, the main lead, Vasily. This is a story of a sniper who will soon face a German sniper, Major Koning. Sorry. The characters have their interesting aspects to them. Vasily is a young man who is, well, yeah, basically forced to fight in the Red Army. And he ends up becoming a pretty good rifleman, or ends up becoming a sniper for the Soviet Army, or the Red Army. However, though, his new pal ends up actually making him pretty famous as a propaganda to, to promote courage for the rest of the Red Army that are basically getting destroyed by the Germans. Tanya Shinova. Now, her character is someone that actually was doing some coding because she learned a bit of the language, the German language, and did some cracking skills and code skills and translation. However, she wanted to fight the Germans on the front lines due to her family basically getting killed by the Nazis because, you know, what they did. <laughs> On top of that, his new pal, the Commissar, wants to encourage or have a different way of getting the rest of the Russian army to fight instead of being, well, let's just say crumble in fear because they are losing. However, though, with the propaganda he's, or promoting a heroic figure like Fasili, in the end, he has some issues here and there. And on top of that, he has a crush on the girl. Now, Vasily also uh, ends up, like I mentioned, liking her, but she ends up also liking him. And then there's a bit of a relationship between the two, which, well, you know, th this, this that sort of thing happens when you have two guys that like a girl, but the girl likes one guy, and then the other guy... Yeah, let's move on, shall we? Now, the main villain, I mean, he's a Nazi, so of course he's bad. On the other hand, he can have some honor about certain things because he's a soldier, but, you know, he's he's a calm villain that just, he's doing his role for the fatherland. And I will say you will hate him in the very last part of this film because of what he ends up doing. But that being said, his the performance that the actors did in this film are really good really really good i can say no less the film looks really gritty and you know gray i mean you, i mean it's a world war ii film so obviously it's gonna have that feel but man it, it does show here in quality the music in here does have that military feel and just the sense of the whole russian war against the nazis and all that and just the fact that, of what, well, you know, basically what's going on during the battles. And waiting for your enemy until you're ready to, well, yeah, snipe them. As for my enjoyment, well, when I watched this film, I actually had a bad temperature. But I was enjoying just the aspect of this film and the historical aspect to it as well, since I like World War II history. However, I recently rewatched this film, and I actually gotta say, I have more appreciation for this film than the first time watching it, just because of my illness at the time. 
You see what the characters have to go through during a wartime period. But also, yes, it also shows how bad the Soviet Union were. They were no better than the Nazis. After all, they were basically forcing people to go fight and die. Or if they refuse, well, they get shot. But overall, you see a whole other world of this war. This global war. Now, since I like World War II history in general, obviously I'm going to like this film. And I do like this film. It was overall pretty good. The action scenes, especially the beginning, well captured. That beginning part of the film really, really captured that moment. Overall, some great scenes in here. Mostly the battle scenes are really well done. Now you are going to notice some CGI or computer work for at least some of the airplanes, but it doesn't ruin the film. It actually does blend in pretty good. I mean, yeah, this came out several, several years ago. So yeah, you're going to see some aging, but it's actually really doesn't look bad. On top of that, since this film came out in 2001, in the end, I would end up seeing a lot of references with the Call of Duty series, like Finest Hour and that opening scene, and on top of that, the original Call of Duty for the PC, which also they must have taken from this film, and then other Call of Duty stuff here and there with the references. After all, this was based on a, well, a real battle. So, I, yeah, obviously. But it's funny to see these things in this film, and trace it to the Call of Duty series that had a bunch of these scenes kind of represented. It's pretty cool. I hope that I can live up to your expectations. A.T. Well, Enemy at the Gate. It's really a decent film. And the way it was done and the fact that it captured that real historical battle of Stalingrad. Though I will say, it did make me hate socialism a lot more than I already do. This is a really good film to capture this event. And it also has some actors that you will recognize. I actually did forget to mention that there is another actor in here, but I don't remember his name. I'm not good with names. I'm only good with faces. Sorry. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. As for my recommendation, there is other World War II films based on true stories. Uh, a Bridge Too Far, that's another one that's pretty good. Even though it's based on a true failed operation, that's pretty sad. On the other hand, um, maybe if you want a greedy World War II film, Fury would be another one. Though, if you want something kind of based in like the Soviet Union... From World War II, there's a bunch here that I could recommend right here. On the other hand, if you want to have that feel of the Battle of Stalingrad, there's also the Call of Duty games like I mentioned. There's a bunch that, you know, capture that event pretty good. Finest Hour, I think, really captured it uh, pretty well. But then the original Call of Duty for the PC captured most of the scenes from the film as well. Well, this is Artorelia Film Room Reviews, signing off. And you gotta remember, history is great. Makes your brain grow bigger. Now you listen! If you do not learn any military history, I'm gonna give you 1,000 push-ups. You better learn history, people. It's very interesting. Learn your history, folks! Don't make me give you 1,000 push-ups. And good day! Hi guys, thanks for watching Artorelia Film Room Reviews. If you want to follow more of what I do here, click the subscribe button. You could also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I also have a Discord server. If you want to be part of this community, you could click on this link here. Or in the description.